previously on Balls. To Skype we go and all the way over to Rio. We've got uh, two of our our hockey boys on standby looking very chilled there. I'm going to go say hello. That's uh, like. <laughs> I don't know. One looks, they actually, they both look like surfers. Can I tell you, they all look like they're from <laughs> movies. They all could be actors. They are unbelievably good looking people. Yeah, John T. Oh, Robertson and yeah. uh, Tim That's Drummond. Yeah, it's John T. on the right. Thank you, guys. And <laughs> Tim on the left. Both look like surfers. What's up? How's it, guys? <laughs> How's it going, guys? Yeah, yeah good. good. This side, got a, a nice little chilled off day today, so nice. yeah, enjoying some downtime. Yeah, well, geez, you've earned it. You've absolutely smoked your opponents. Six one against the USA and a nine nil against uh, Brazil. I was thinking, gee whiz, it's not often that you see um, Brazil lose nine nil in anything. In anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not often. Uh, uh, it's. I think it's a great face for them. They just started the sport, so yeah. Yeah, we had a sort of we played against them in Japan before and knew what they were about, and then came here and yeah, just played some really good hockey. And then uh, it's always nice to get one up on the Americans. Yes, so <laughs> <laughs> that was quite nice yesterday. I, I, I was chatting to Kanox just now off air, and she said you guys were one 0 up against uh, Brazil at halftime. Yeah, we started with slowly, but uh, eventually. Geez, you made up for it in the second, second half. Yeah, second half started to. Find our straps a bit and string a few passes together and, and get our structure going and manage to put a few more goals in, which is more like us. Uh, we were speaking to Rassi early on in the week and he said that uh, uh, that the venue, well, you didn't even know if you could call it a venue. What happened there? <laughs> <Did> that, <laughs> or what is it? Because he didn't, he wouldn't, didn't want to go into too much detail, but, but what happened? What was wrong? Yeah, it, it's well, slightly agriculture, to put it politely. Are you um, playing on grass or what? <laughs> But it's yeah, it's a very Whoa. they got limited facilities here in Brazil. As hockey is not their their main sport, but it's um, yeah, it's entertaining for us because a lot of us are used to uh, a more sophisticated environment, um, with regards to stadiums and and facilities, Astros and stuff. So so is it is it, yeah, is, it, is, it, is, it is it is it do you have an Astro or are you playing on on grass? <laughs> well, they uh, call it they call it an Astro too. Oh, is, is it um, sand based or what? Yeah. We, have, we did see some soccer lines around the Astros <laughs> on the turf. So. Uh, well, it is Brazil. <laughs> yeah. But you'd think, you know, with the Olympics, you know, on the horizon, that, you know, all their facilities would be, you know, ready or, or pretty much near to ready. Yeah, I think when when we came here, we were expecting something a little bit more in, in exactly along those lines with the facilities being a bit more new and established. But, I mean, you can see a lot of construction going around with the infrastructure and everything else. So maybe if the hockey field's one of the later ones that are going to go up. Okay, all right. But uh, yeah. tell us, tell us what, what exactly is the World League? And the how it works? Part of the, it's sort of a new tournament which the FIH has just brought in. And it's part of the whole the new way that they're looking to make you qualify for the World Cup. And sort of a, a whole load of different levels or leagues. And yeah, so the lowest ranked countries all start off in the league and League One. They play together and once you if you come in the top two then you progress to League Two, which we are now. And then from here we go to uh semi finals, which is World League Three, and that's in I think Rotterdam in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And then if you go from there then it's sort of the finals and that's gonna be they're expecting that to be one of the sort of the top tournaments to rival the World Cup and the Olympics. Rotterdam in Malaysia. Yeah. Is, no, there Rot fast, eh? is there Rotterdam in Malaysia? <laughs> no, 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 no. You <laughs> surfers, what have you been smoking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how many teams automatically qualify for the World Cup? Because we just outside the top 10. Yeah, we just outside the top 10. As far as I understand, I think it's only the top three countries uh, from the previous tournaments, so from the Olympics, that get automatic qualification to the World Cup. And then everyone else has to go qualify. So I know like the Belgians, they've got theirs in France now. Uh, the Irish are obviously in Ireland. So yeah, everyone's got to go through the same process. But it it seems, uh, judging by the results, I mean, I know we're not talking about massive hockey nations here, but you look at what's happening in ladies hockey at the moment and how well the girls have been doing, and so, some of your guys' previous results. It seems like South African hockey is is onto a good thing at the moment. Yeah, it's it's definitely onto a good thing. I think um, we've got some real quality coming through and. Yeah, the group that we've got at the moment has been together for a couple of years and with the coaching staff that's been in place and is in place now, sort of we're really finding our stride and moving forward, which is really nice. Um you know, we've all everyone has the, has the hiccups, 
but I think we're fighting through it and it's quite nice to be part of the generation which is sort of making the difference in, in hockey in the nation, which is, which is pretty cool. So t tell, us, tell us a bit about yourselves, uh, t what positions you play and, and which clubs you play for, which, where, where did you guys go to school? Um, we both play in the midfield. I, I play in Hamburg, I play for a club side called Brutbeck. Um, Brutbeck, what? Plays. What's so, it called? Uh, Brutbeck. <laughs> <laughs> nice. that's, that's the English version of it. It's quite how it's pronounced in yes. German. Um, okay. And then we, yeah, John's plays in Belgium or his club there, Broxgata. Yeah. And yeah, uh, John's been to school in Weinberg in the Cape and I went to Tilton College. Okay, all right, awesome. yeah, I mean, I remember Weinberg were, I think they were the first school in Cape Town to, to get an Astra. Yeah, I think they were the first school in the country to actually get a turf. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you guys always had, I mean, I went to, I went to a fantastic school out in the Paul Paul Riss. Paul Paul yeah, we say that with pride. Ah, and, uh, here we you know, go. I, I always remember, go, yeah, Weinberg was, was the shiz because, you know, you guys had, you guys had an Astra, something that, you know, was unheard of. This is now, we're talking like 98, 97, 98. Yeah. A while ago. Yeah, no, it's a while ago. Um, but but yeah, how, how important is it for at the moment for for guys like yourselves to to go and play for clubs overseas? Yeah, I think at the moment with us not having a sort of national league like most of the other countries, it's it's quite important for us to get just exposed to a higher level of hockey and just play more hockey for longer periods of the year. You know, so getting guys into the top leagues like Holland and Belgium. And in Germany, even a couple of guys over in England is is really is really important. Just be exposed to different skills, different training techniques, different ideas and tactics from coaches. So I think it's all going to benefit us growing and moving forward. So yeah, I think it's quite a big thing. Do you get paid yeah. there though? For do those clubs pay you guys? Uh, <laughs> if you're allowed <laughs> to talk yeah, about it. <laughs> Nothing yeah. there with any small savings, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, they got to pay you something. I mean, Europe is so flipping expensive. Yeah, true. And looking ahead to the rest of the tournament, you guys quietly confident having got your tails up? Yeah, we, we gathered a bit of momentum. We got uh, Trinidad and Tobago on Saturday, that's tomorrow. Um, so that's going to be quite an important game for us. And then the, the big clash is uh, Argentina on Sunday. Wow. Um, they're the highest ranked side. And Where are they in the world? They rank 10th at the moment in the world. Okay, and we are, are we, we 12th? 12th, yeah. We 12th, we 12th yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm um, So that'll be a, a big game, which we're all very motivated towards playing that game. And then, and then what, are you going to hang around in, in Brazil for a bit, do some sightseeing, or are you guys booking back to Europe? Unfortunately, we have to fly out straight out on Tuesday. We play our last game on Tuesday against Chile, and then we, we straight on the plane back to South Africa. So, oh, it's a pity. So, uh, Massive pity as there are uh, quite a few sites and places yeah. to see in Brazil. Um, but yeah, that's just yeah. the way the structure of the itinerary. Okay. Quite lucky mm. we're getting to go to see the Christ the Redeemer statue this afternoon. Yes. So, and what's it? And yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, then we also got we hit Copacabana Beach, which was oh. pretty special <laughs> the other day. That was that was an experience. A lot of yes. yeah, actually, yeah, that was an yeah, experience. apparently a technique. <laughs> and uh, I just want to know what's the food like? Good. Oh, Johnny! Ooh, Johnny, God. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what kind of things do you eat there? It's, yeah, pretty Lots standard. We're staying in a, a really good hotel, so yeah. the buffet has been on offer three times a day for us, and its the options are pretty endless. So yes. pretty standard tobacco, <laughs> meat. <laughs> Lots of meat, yeah. Johnny. <laughs> just check exactly what you're eating. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, yeah. I don't know. There's some pretty exotic animals in Brazil. Yeah. We got do we got donkeys and buffalo. Yeah, I don't know what you're yeah. over there, but <laughs> just double check that if it is actually a, a proper steak. Yeah, you heard what happened to me yesterday, sir. No, I what told happened? you. I told you. My doctor told me to watch what I eat. Hey, yeah. So, so, so I went out and bought tickets for the Durban July. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to ask you, um, yeah. what do you think the, the chances of my Mighty Sharks um, overcoming the Storm is tomorrow? Well, if Darren yeah. was sitting here, he'd probably say good chances, but I'm sitting here and I support the province, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say there's no, snowballs hope in hell of it happening. I'm a bull supporter, oh, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, yeah, I think, um, I don't know, we spoke to Nas Buerta early on and he said you can't, you can't bet against uh, the home team at the moment. So he's going Sharks. So yeah. According to him, it's pretty good. And if you're, and if, yeah. 
Nas is never wrong. No, he's never wrong. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's a bulls man. <laughs> yeah, he's never wrong. And if you're a cricket supporter, heavy rain in Durban looks like the Proteus T20 game against Pakistan is going to be rained out. Oh, it's not surprising that, sure. Yes. Yeah. Guys, listen, it was uh, awesome, awesome catching up with you. Um, good luck for the remainder of the tournament. You know that we, we track your progress here at Bulls Visual Radio. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks cool. so much, guys. Thanks Cheers, so much. guys. Cheers, guys. in the week. Thank Take you so it easy. Much. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. And, and enjoy the sightseeing this afternoon. Oh, yeah, well, sure. Ciao. Bye. Go SA Hockey. Wow, doing nicely. There you go. Some of our hockey boys, uh, mm. John T. Robertson and uh, Tim Drummond, joining us from, from Rio this afternoon. They're there for the World League Round 2 um, and doing pretty well. as beating the USA. They beat them 6-1 and they also beat uh, Brazil 9-0 mm. on Wednesday. Looking for that Argentina clash, Si. Yeah. Sunday, that's going to be Sunday. good. Yeah. The boys Argentina ranked 10th in the world and mm. uh, yeah, the, the boys ranked 12th, so it should be a good game. This is... Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za